Hello, we now see how to solve this problem. This problem is on alternating current LR parallel circuit. LR parallel. L means inductor, R means resistor, they are connected in parallel. We would learn how to solve this problem. An 80 ohm resistor and a 200 milli Henry inductor are connected in parallel across a 100 volt 60 hertz source. That means it should be an AC source because frequency is given. Subdivision A, what is the RMS current in the resistor? Subdivision B, by what angle does the total current lead or lag behind the voltage? So this is AC circuit having a resistor inductor connected in parallel. So let's draw the diagram. You see this is inductor, sorry this is resistor, this is inductor, this is AC source. We will mark the values given in the question. Henry, 100 volt, 60 hertz. So this 8, 200 milli Henry, you know, you can even simplify and write as 0.2 Henry. Of course, this would be RMS value of the source. What we are supposed to find? RMS current through the resistor, this RMS. See, one point has to be noted. All the three are connected here in parallel. So whatever is the voltage here, that will be the voltage across the resistor. So voltage across the resistor is same as the source voltage. So directly you can write IRMS as V by R. V by R, 100 by 80. On simplification, 5 by 4, 1.25 ampere. See here you will have to note this voltage is available here because of the parallel combination. So you can take voltage across the resistor or RMS voltage across the resistor is same as the RMS value of voltage of the source. Therefore 1.25 ampere. Go to the second subdivision. By what angle does the total current lead or lag behind the voltage? Let's draw the phasor diagram for this. So voltage, voltage and current in the resistor are in phase. Okay, that is IR, current through the resistor. And also current in the inductor and the voltage there is a phase difference of pi by 2. That is current in the case of inductor. Current lags behind the voltage by pi by 2. You see, this is current in the inductor lags behind the voltage by pi by 2, this angle. right? Now, uh, find the resultant of the two phasors IR and IL, the diagonal. And uh, the phase angle also can be marked like this, phi. So he is asking by what angle does the total current lead or lag. So tan phi will be equal to, from the phasor diagram, IL by IR. You see tan phi opposite, this is IL, adjacent here you have IR. But IL is V by XL, IR is V by R. Therefore, tan phi is R by XL. Substitute the values of R and XL. Why we have written 0.2 into 120 pi? XL is nothing but L omega. L is 0 0.2. Omega is 2 pi f. I just write here omega 2 pi f. So 2 pi f is how much as given here? 60. So 2 pi into 60. So 120 pi for omega. So we have written like that. So simplifying 
1.06 that is tan phi is equal to 1.06 so phi is equal to 1.06 46.7 degrees so by what angle does the total current lead or lag that angle is 46.7 degrees by what angle does the total current so this is the total current total current lead or lag behind the voltage so voltage here total current here so total current lags behind the voltage by phi which is 46.7 degrees understood this thank you